What's hot and what's overhyped right now in dentistry? What's the most exciting thing in dentistry to you? And what do you think is getting a little bit too much attention? I think uh, printing is getting too much attention. <laughs> I think No one guessed that. We couldn't tell. I don't know. I don't know that at all. I think printing, AI, and patient apps are the three areas that get both too much and too little attention. Too much because there's too much hype and buzz. Printing is great for the right applications. AI is great, but AI itself doesn't solve anything. AI for me is a little bit like math. It needs to move to the back. It's an assistant to the practicing dentist. And it's really a question on what gives you the most value to either help you see something faster, do something faster, simplify insurance claims or whatnot, but it also needs to move to the back. And patient apps are very often a big hype, but you see that also from other medical industries, most patients don't use patient apps because, I mean, I don't. Most people don't. They'll be like, yeah. <laughs> no, and and I, I should be the one using a patient app, you know? It's, it's like, well, you're, you're the guy. guy. You're the digital tech guy. <laughs> right, but you design them, and then you think about, oh, it's going to give the patient so much transparency and so forth. But if I think about a dental patient app, my analogy is floss. Most patients don't floss, even though you tell them every time, please floss. And the patient sits in the chair and is like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to floss for the three days before I go next to the dentist. And then I'll forget about it again. And the same thing is going to happen with patient apps. It's because unless there's a real urgency, they have something that's really specific. I don't think that's going to be a thing. And I think underhyped is, I mean, I said it, boring is the new sexy. Look at what moves the needle for everyday dentistry. 